students to understand just how deeply the recession affected this country, show them this map. The darker colors show unemployment increasing. Yeah, that's pretty shocking, isn't it? I'm Becca Arnold, and I teach economics at San Diego Mesa College. Just over six years ago, I began experimenting with ways to use interactive maps to teach economic concepts. I wanted my students to find out how the economic indicators they were learning looked in the quote-unquote real world. As part of my experimenting and research, I was involved in a grant project where I took a really close look at what ways of disseminating information through the interactive maps were most effective. But in the video that you're now about to see, students are participating in a module on unemployment. In the last year I developed six modules on economic concepts, primarily for macroeconomics courses. All of them are available free. Just send me an email and let's take a look. So today we're going to do the first of the six modules that you're going to be working on this semester where you're going to use interactive maps to learn economic concepts. So the one you're working on today is unemployment. Besides that, you're going to be able to see the unemployment situation statewide, countywide, countrywide, worldwide. You're also going to be learning the definition of the unemployment rate, labor force participation rate, and also, this is what I want you to really be thinking about as you're going through your worksheets, is I want to be able to discuss the question afterwards, so discuss it with your groups as you're doing it, but does the unemployment rate accurately reflect the unemployment situation? You'll notice in the introduction I just gave the students that these units are very comprehensive. Besides allowing the students to view the indicators in various parts of the world, they also define the concepts, they present examples to have students work with the concepts mathematically. They also encourage students to evaluate critically how useful the various economic indicators are. In the unemployment unit, I start with a map on unemployment that you all just saw. It grabs the students' attention right away and makes them eager to get started. So I want to show you an introductory map because I know that when the recession started that you've been hearing about all of your adult life, some of you are actually still in high school and possibly not paying a whole lot of attention. So I want to just show you what this map is going to do is it's going to get darker and darker purple as the unemployment rate goes up. So that ended at the beginning of 2011. Since 2011, come down slightly, you might be seeing a few of the cameras get a little bit lighter, but the picture would actually be very, very similar to this still. Okay, so go ahead and start working, and I'll just come around, and if you have any questions, please let me know. When the industry that was previously employed, all of a sudden that industry disappears, is that structurally unemployed? As you see, the students are working in groups on these modules. That's the way I usually present them. When classroom time has been tight, I've occasionally signed them as homework, and that's effective as well. While they're working, I circulate freely through the class, answering questions, giving support. To be honest, the students are way more tech savvy than me, so they usually end up giving me support or the other students support instead. Also, in this video, the students brought in their own laptops. I didn't have access to a computer lab. This worked out so well, I'm actually going to continue to do it this way in the future because the students were able to stay in their classroom. We didn't have to switch classes. They were also working on their own computers with which they're familiar. And about a third of the class was able to bring in laptops. So the groups were of three or four students, which is ideal. Okay. Which countries are you choosing? We did Australia, Australia, Bhutan. And Australia and Bhutan? And? To South Africa. 
South Africa. Okay. Oh, interesting. Interested. Some relatives live there. True. Of course they do. I don't know why. So where's Jamaica? Let's put on Jamaica. Let's see if we can find it on the map. Okay. So you might have noticed that each group is choosing different countries here. The modules have a combination of specific maps assigned to the students, the country, the state, sometimes the county. And also, they have a lots of opportunities for students to explore regions of the world that particularly interest them. You'll notice in the last clip that one of the female students was asking her fellow groupmates whether they knew where Jamaica was. She was actually teasing them. She's from Jamaica. Also, I assign the modules usually right before a break. Some groups finish earlier and some groups are really involved in the assignment. In fact, sometimes individuals within the groups are really involved in the assignments and they'll stay through the break. It's also a good idea to have a short classroom discussion after the break or whenever anybody's done, after you reconvene, and particularly to ask the students to talk about the individual countries that they chose. Supported from Yuma is it's Yuma County, and then right over here is Maricopa County, where Phoenix is So you've got the same thing. Got the same thing, right? Okay, yeah, right. The county's right next to each other. North Dakota. Oh yeah. I want to see North Dakota actually, because on one of the maps I was showing another class that wasn't completely updated. It was higher than I thought it would be. Considering what's going on over the world. Modules are available for each of the six topics shown here on the screen. I've also written companion modules for high school economics courses. Please send me an email if you'd like access to any of these. Also, email me if you have any comments, questions, or your own experience in working with interactive maps. This technology is just in the beginning stages. It has incredible potential, and I look forward to being part of the discussion with all of you. Thank you.